is up everyone welcome to alt knots it is official if you haven't already decided that the countdown to halloween is on and you're needing a little extra push i feel like if you're here in the yarn dungeon you probably don't but if you're still on the fence this what i just got today is it the countdown is on it is official spooky season it's here bust out the pumpkin spice start crocheting all the spooky things do all the spooky stuff watch the spooky horror movies everything all together this is it this little box has had quite a journey to get to me i was a little nervous for a while if it was gonna safely make it to the yarn dungeon the estimated arrival date was supposed to be saturday yeah it's it's quite a few days since saturday now there was a fun notification that i got on saturday saying that there was animal interference i have no idea what that means and i was trying to think i'm like okay I know my cats are kind of spicy, but it was way too hot for them to be out. So they were just chilling in the window. Maybe they were like, I don't know, giving them the side eye. I have no idea. There is like two really tiny dogs. So I, again, I have no idea. So it was delayed. It was supposed to be here Saturday afternoon. Delayed, obviously nothing ships on Sunday. So I had to wait, wait, wait. Didn't get it on Monday. It's here now though, and we can chat all about it. I guess it just added to the whole entertainment of it, right? I'm just gonna go with that. Anyways, this is the Jimmy Bean Wool Freight Club, the 31 day countdown in yarn form calendar. Advent, yeah, that's what they call it, Advent. 31 day Advent. Halloween calendar will be the third year that I've done this and it sold out so quick. I, I don't even know if it was like 72 hours. I really don't. It was ridiculously quick. So if you were lucky enough to snag one of these as well, Congrats, because it was it was not a joke this year. They were flying off. I'm just gonna open it first and then we'll chat about it more. First look in the yarn dungeon of the Fright Club and it's backwards. There we go, the Frank Club. It is a haunted house, skeleton, spooky. This is literally the best part. I mean, there are many great things about this, but this is the best part. The box, you have to look at everything because every single detail is there for a reason. First of all, we have spooky ghost with knitting needles, shop if you dare sign. We have the skeleton that has a little ball of yarn. I mean, even the spider is getting in it, like, you know, making this gorgeous web. Spooky pumpkin, because we have to. They always put cats in it every single year, and I don't know if they hide them, if it's like an Easter egg or something, but I'm here for it, so I would love for them to keep continuing to do this. Spooky ghost with some more yarn. Actually, it looks kind of sad. Like, I don't know what they're sad about, because it's a gorgeous ball of yarn, but okay. Kitty chilling in the window. All right, what do we have? Be yes, nothing is more accurate. Beware of frogging. Oh my gosh, I want that as a sign now. I might actually have to make a full version sign of that for the yarn dungeon. It's a thing. All right, the back is great too. We have a ghost with a set of mittens and a beanie. Tombstones that all have totally different sayings. I haven't even looked at it, so maybe I should have done that before I showed you. And memory of stitches dropped, fantastic. Here lies tangled yarn balls, always loved, never forgotten. My first project, oh my gosh, I love this. RIP Hank Skein. I am genuinely serious. I want full versions of this. Like I need another project, but I honestly may need to do that going on the list. What do we have on this side? Caution measure gauge. If you know, you know, that's what it is. Cauldron full of yarn. And we have, this one is excited. Like this ghost is like, yes, I'm ready for it. Is that the crocheting one? Yes, it's the crocheting ghost. So the knitting ghost looks a little scared. I don't know if there's a lot of color work in this one, if that's what it is, but this one is ready to go. This crocheting ghost is like, Yes, get it, I'm here, let's go, let's get started. I'm pumped now, that, that ghost got me going, I love it. Um, the bottom, nothing on the bottom, okay, cool. Let me back it up though, like I said, this is a countdown to Halloween. There are two different patterns, I think, that come with this every single year, it's different, but we'll find out what's inside. So I am not gonna open 
all of the packages today. This is a countdown to Halloween. So every single day in October, I'm gonna unbox, unbag one of these and work on the pattern. And at the end, you have a gorgeous crocheted either one or two patterns, whatever it is this year. However, I am gonna do it slightly different this year. So I'm gonna start an entire day before October. So the very last day in September, I'm gonna open up the first bag. That way I have a little time to enjoy it. I really wanna have it for Halloween and it not, I mean, there's just a lot of things that happen on actual Halloween. So sometimes I don't get as much enjoyment from doing the, the very last parts of this because what comes along with the last bit is weaving all the ends in. A lot of times you have to block it because the yarn that's used, it's wool. Like there are a lot of extra tidbits that going into it. So I figured if I have like at least one full day head start, then we'll be good and I can rock it for the entire day of Halloween, whatever it is. I'm pretty sure it's fingerless gloves is one of them anyways. So there is a knit version and a crochet version. Obviously the two ghosts represent the two different versions there. I will say it is gonna be very, very difficult for this to be last year's because last year was an intensely vampy type of theme and I was so there for it. Everything was black and red. They're just my colors. I just love them. Haunted House though, I do enjoy it. So if the colors of the yarn are very similar to this, the slimy green, gray, all the way to witchy purple, like if these are the colors that it represents that the yarn is inside here, I'll be excited about it. I keep every single one of these just because, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I keep them every single year. If you wanna see kind of like what was in the past ones, I do have a video where I went through all of them. Last year, I did a short for each unboxing, so you can see that as well. I have that all together in a little file if you wanna just like scroll through all that, see what I made. Um, however, I do have the patterns that was created last year. The very first one, sadly, I did not keep that. I gifted that one away. So this year, there was only one version, one option of kits to get. This was it. It was either knit or crochet version. Last year they went super hard. They had a full version of the Fright Club and then they also had a small version. So they had a like 13 night countdown. So I'll show you both of those to see potentially what could be in here. But this color is, yeah, like this color palette, definitely my favorite. And this is the, I can't remember the name of the yarn, Madeline Tosh. There we go. It's the Madeline Tosh yarn from Jimmy Bean Wool's yarn shop. Again, I will link that down below. So even if you didn't get this kit, but you like, you see the yarn and you're like, oh my gosh, I love that, or I love that color, they do often sell the color in their shop. The main reason that I know this is because this color of slimy green yarn, I was obsessed with last year. And so I had to get a couple of hanks just by itself. They had different varying weights. Obviously this was fingering weight, but there's like worsted weight, DK weight, a ton of different options over there. This is so cozy. Cozy, honestly, it took me the entire month to do. And I will say that with this project is that I do really, really enjoy doing these because the pattern has been written out so that if you start it October 1st, you will totally finish it by October 31st. Halloween, you'll totally have it finished. Maybe it's just because I like lists. I don't know, could be that. But I really enjoy getting up every single morning and knowing that I have something to open up. Normally, I'll have my coffee, I have a little bit of breakfast, and work on the Jimmy Bean Bowls. This year, I am gonna be even more organized. But like, can you see, side note, side track here, why I wanna keep doing this, these are just so great. Don't mind this, there are some ends that have like popped out because I wore them quite often. So I had this done, obviously, by Halloween, and oh, that's a big one that came out. We're just gonna hide that. Don't even look at that. There we go, all hidden, and it's perfect again. Anyways, I wore these all probably about until March because it's cold here basically year round. And then we get like two months of really, really intense heat and then we go right back into fall. So I mean, in a couple of weeks, I could probably start wearing these again. Anyways, these are, since it is Superwash Morena wool, 
everything was hand washed so I am super super delicate on it but it doesn't mean that I don't use them so they definitely this was in snow this was in rain everything that happened and it still looks really really nice like I feel like the colors look brand new still and this has been almost an entire year now that I've had them the 13 nights had a hat that it came with so I ended up with fingerless mitts a cowl and a hat which was super extra and I get that, but I didn't do this one until Hexmas because since it was a 13 night countdown, I was like, okay, way too perfect. And see, they had two different color palettes last year too. So this was more like their autumn color palette. Let's just enjoy that beautiful design too. It looks super, super intense, super, super gorgeous, but honestly, I had so much fun making this. When you first look at the pattern and you see that it uses fingering weight yarn, me anyways, I don't use fingering weight yarn that often. The very first time that I did it, it was rather intimidating, but honestly, it's not. It is seriously so much fun. And obviously, it's broken apart, so every single day is like nice and bite-sized, so if you follow it that way, it takes no time at all. I have, however, seen people get this kit, and as soon as they get it, they just bust into it, open everything, set it all out, and start going. A lot of people have gotten it done before October which is kind of crazy to think about because it's only a couple of weeks until October, but there are a lot of people that are like, let's go, let's go, let's, I mean, I think they saw the ghost on the side here and they're like, I'm ready, let's go, let's get going. So really it is totally however you wanna attack this. Let's open this up a little bit because I need to get the patterns on here. Last year it came in Ravelry. I'm not entirely sure if that's where they're gonna do it again. Normally there's like a little slip of paper in here and it'll say, here you go, find it here. Oh my gosh, I just saw the yarn. This is fantastic. Okay, we have witchy purple tissue paper. Oh, I thought that was gonna come out real easy. I don't wanna rip it. What is this? This is totally different than last year. Okay, we have, look at that. Oh my gosh. I need to set up my UV light too because I have a strong feeling that this is gonna glow under UV light. Totally forgot about that. This is kind of an entirely different 31 day countdown because there is just one ball of yarn this year. I remember seeing it, that it was self striping, which seriously compared to last year, every single one of these, every color change required I mean, obviously weaving in. So either you had to weave over it, you had to weave it at the end. I made the mistake of not weaving in my first mitten. And by the time I got to the end, like during Halloween, all of the ends were just like shoved in the inside. I'm like, no, I don't, can't even be bothered with that right now. No, no way, not a chance. So the fact that this is self striping and it already looks freaking gorgeous. Yeah, and this is caked up really nice too. I mean, obviously the sides came undone a little bit, but it was just kind of bobbing around in here. So for that fact, it did really well. I might have to set this out already. My goals are I'm gonna have an actual area in the yarn dungeon this year. So I'm gonna have either a chair, I have like a chair and a couch. I haven't decided which one I want to do, but I'm gonna set a side table up, a little lamp, an area for me to put my coffee, and then this, like everything needed is gonna be set up there and out the entire year. Because last year and the previous year, it was almost like work because I put it away every single day. Why I did that, I have no idea, but it just makes sense to have it out and it's gorgeous. So like, why did I wanna put it away anyways? I don't know, I just thought, no, it needs to be organized. But like organized chaos is totally a thing. And especially when I'm working on it every single day in the morning, it just makes sense. Anyway, so the side table is coming, I need to assemble that so is the lamp so whenever that comes we'll put it all together and set this up because now it's here it's ready to go all right let's see what else is in here now I'm just like interested okay slip of paper that's what I was looking for hello fright clubbers we hope you enjoy knitting slash crocheting the bona fide Halloween set it has been so long since I have ordered this that I totally forgot what it was called 
obviously forgot about the self-striping yarn. Yeah, just a lot of things. It's basically like a brand new present. Okay, it says you can find the knit pattern here at Ravelry, and then it gives you like the code. Go ahead and go in there, and then you can also find, okay, so two different ways, obviously. Knit, crochet, I'm gonna do the crochet version. It does come with both of the patterns. So if you know how to crochet and knit, you have both of the patterns now, and you can do like, honestly, whatever it comes with. So I haven't checked it out yet. I, let's grab my phone. Actually, I have my tablet here. Let's just grab this and I want to see like, what is it? Because I only saw snippets of it. This is going to take a second. Oh, I need to get a keyboard for this because I use this so often. Let's see if I typed it in right. Yes, perfect. If you type it in correctly, this is what has come up every single year. It's an alpaca. It's awesome. They actually do have an alpaca tape measure on their site. Don't take my word for it. Check it out. It's hilarious. I haven't got one yet, but that's one that's been in my cart. And I'm like, why am I waiting? Like, I need this in the yarn dungeon. I see just like a tiny bit of the mitten. Okay, check out. There we go. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. Yes, it is a cowl and mittens this year. I was really, really hoping it was a cowl because I seriously, as much as I wear those mittens, the cowl, every single outfit that I wore in the wintertime, I wore that. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. This is, I'm gonna show you the first picture that I saw. Look at those mittens. Absolutely screams Halloween. The fact that we're using self-striping yarn too in order to create this, because looking at that, the color work with also the little skull work on top of it, that would have been, it would have been fun. Let's just say that. It would have been a fun challenge and I still would have done it. All right, let's see. Because they mentioned something on the site that it was kind of like a choose your own adventure. And I'm not really here for that because I like when it was like broken up into 31 days. So the first one is the pattern for the hat. Bonafide Halloween set. Our zombies have been having a blast putting together this year's Fright Club, just like taking a trip to a fantastic haunted house. I knew it. Yes, it is. Haunted house theme all year, yes. This year's project allows you to crochet your own adventure. There we go, so we need to learn more about that. This scully set is sure to tickle your funny bone. Love it, we're here for puns. As a witchin' crocheter, I need stickers of that. As a witchin' crocheter, write it down everyone. Stickers, t-shirts, we need it all. Let, send it into Jimmy Bean Wolves, please, please. Witchin' crocheter t-shirts, I need that in my life like yesterday. The yarn included in this kit will make two of the three pieces designed by Amy Gunderson. Okay, mix and match the patterns to make your own set using the custom self-striped strand from Knittery Things combined with Cascade Heritage. Okay, that was a lot. I need to like process that. So the yarn that it comes with just like the past two years is enough in order to make the two patterns, but there's three patterns that it comes with? Hold up. What? So it is not broken apart into 31 days. Ooh, that is, that is sad. That makes me very sad. Oh, that's why. Okay, so the three patterns are the fingerless mitt, the cowl, and the beanie. I just don't see a picture of it. I'm gonna look on their site, see maybe if they have it there. Anyways, scroll all the way down. So that's what it is this year. It is 100% choose your own adventure. So. I need to show the gloves again or the mittens. Oh, I am in love with this. I get it why people just like fly through it because yeah, I want to wear these every single day of my life now. The one thing I'm going to see is if they sell this specific yarn on their site, like just by itself. Okay, we're going to move that for two seconds. There we go. So here's the cowl and combined with the mittens, you know what I mean? Like you just, you have to. The hook that it's using is 3.5 millimeter. Okay, that's not too bad. I was expecting it to be a little bit smaller, but 3.5, I'm okay with that. Let's see what these look like. There are, here is the knitting and the crochet needle. 3.25 millimeter for a knitting. Let's just pull it out because I honestly have never seen this. Gosh, it's been a long time since I've used knitting needles, but these are nice. So Knitting Pride, I haven't honestly tried their knitting needles, but I have tried their crochet hooks. 
and they're nice. They're ergonomic, handled ones, and again, it all comes with it. I like the color of it. Again, I will use my furls. That's just because those are the hooks that I love, but I still think it's really nice that they end up sending these in here. I know someone that loves these crochet hooks, so this will be gifted. What else do we have in here? Do we actually have packages? Oh, more yarn. I was wondering because the pattern had a lot of black yarn and I was like, oh, sad. We don't get any of the black yarn. Nope. Just kidding. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. All of the skulls are going to use this black yarn and then does it say the name of it? This one is called Creepin' It Real, and this one, it doesn't look like it has a name. It's just Cascade Heritage One Skein, color 5672. There you go. That's the color of it. But this one, Creepin' It Real, I would love a t-shirt with that too. A skein of this, Creepin' It Real, maybe like spelled out with the yarn. I don't know. Here's ideas. Jimmy Bean Wolf, take them. Witch and Crocheter though. I need that. There are bags. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, how do we know when to open these? Does it say when you open them? Whenever you want a treat, you just decide to open one of them? Or if I'm having a rather rough day and I'm like, okay, I, I just have a lot of things going on. I don't feel like doing this. That never happens though. I can't even use that. It never happens. I, I'm just gonna have to make a calendar. That's it. That's what we're doing after this making a calendar. I'm just gonna pull all of these out. See how many there are. Empty, witchy tissue paper. One, two, three. I'm very glad that they used the bags that they used last year, cause vampy, I like it. So two, three, four, five, that one's heavy, six. You know, I could open one before I started one pattern and then open one when I finish a pattern. Kind of like an incentive to get going and then like, here you go, here's a treat, you finished, good job. I need to, this is gonna take me a second actually now. If I wanna do it every single day, cause here's the thing, if I don't have it written down as work on it every single day for a specific amount or a specific rows, I may not get it done in time because there's just a lot of things going on or the reverse might happen and I might sit down and spend an entire day doing the Jimmy Bean Roll Fright Club and just power through the whole thing. I think I figured out what I'm gonna do. So I have never done three of these patterns in an entire month and I don't feel like I wanna start right now. I did look on Jimmy Bean Wool's site. This is unfortunately a custom color so they don't have it on their site right now. Maybe it'll come back. So I need to decide what two that I wanna do because it says on here it's enough yarn in order to make two of the patterns. The mittens I have to make. Like I, there's no considering that or thinking about it. The mittens have to be made. And I feel like I wanna make the cowl too. I just, I wear cowls quite often and together it's just perfect. It really is. I am not going to write down specifically what I need to do each day <laughs> because I was going through it and I'm like, it's just not going to make sense. I don't really know. Again, it's choose your own adventure. So there are two patterns. I printed off this little calendar here, just have very festive with little spooky pumpkins and skulls on it. I am gonna just do a start stop date, have that in my area while I'm working this up every single day just to remind myself, okay, this is what we're doing today. And then I'm gonna write down like where I stopped. So that's how I'm gonna tackle it. I feel like the mittens are probably gonna take me the longest. So I'm gonna start with the mittens. The last day of September, I'm starting on the mittens and then finish with the cow because it, it just seems like it's, it's gonna fly. Especially, well, now that I'm looking at it, I take that back. It looks like almost every single row is a change with the black, like every third row there's a change with the black but with a cowl that's easy to do because you can kind of just like pull it up or pull it through i don't think it should be bad and also the mittens are not that long this year either so there's a lot of color work in it but i'm looking at the graph it doesn't seem too bad i'm optimistic anyways i feel very confident i can get both of these done i got two done last year i am gonna go back to their site and see if there is another type of colorway that i might be excited about for the hat, obviously nothing is gonna match perfectly because this is it. Like I said, it's sold out, it's a custom color. They don't have any more on their site. I don't know. Okay, I still have a little bit of time. Help me out. Just like shout out down below, hat, cowl, hat, mittens, 
cowl mittens. Three different options. Which one, which one do you think that I should do? My main problem is that I don't wear hats a lot. I wore this one quite a bit, but I don't have a huge variety of hats. So this was kind of like the one I would grab for. I don't use it as like accessories. There we go. I don't accessorize with hats often because I'm doing something different with my hair, I guess. And so putting a hat on it doesn't normally work. Help me out. That's where we're going to stop here today because I'm going to yeah, I'm gonna put this away for now. I have a couple of weeks. Well, not even a couple of weeks. I have a couple of days. <laughs> Let's just say that I have a little bit more time to go through everything. All right, ghouls, that is it for today. Thank you for hanging out with me in the Yarn Dungeon, checking out the Fright Club for Halloween 2022 season. It's getting real here. Like the pattern and the calendar, it's printed up, printed up. It's printed out, it's going up, there we go. And crunch time is now official. But for today, that is it. So have a fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.